Okay. <laughs> so he asked me, oh. the, 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 everybody gets confused by the Parsha of Hishtadlis. The Tochen, Amona, the Tochen, Hishtadlis, was to be Hishtadlis. You've heard everything. You've heard all sorts of um, this, that, and the other thing. Yeah, yeah. You, you've heard all, all, all sorts of things, and it's very confusing. One person says one way, and another person says a different way, and it's, it's really confusing. And then you have people who they hear all the very, very good shmuzin and sikhot on, 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 on the tochen, and then they try to the tochen, and then they come back to the rabbi and says, Sorry, rabbi, it doesn't work. I had the tochen, and nothing happened, and it didn't work. So, so it's <laughs> so 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 there's a misunderstanding of what the token is. So, so I, I have every, now these are separate. Everything is here, separate pages. Uh, let me explain what these things are. This thing, this one, is an article from a Abrek in Lakewood. I'm using it as my jumping board, my, right? My jumping board. Uh, these are a couple of things we're going to have to use. And this is another couple of things we're going to have to use. Wait, wait, I'm missing something here. Maybe it's here. It's here. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see if I have what you have. How many pages? So three. Right now, three. Okay. Three, three, man. Right now, three. Okay. I mean, you have a, there's a schmooze from Rabbi Left. So if Left, you can take it and read it at your leisure. It's, I'm going to be taking a little bit, I'm taking bits and pieces from everywhere. And if this is a one-time thing, we're not going to get through it. So if it's a several, several stages, I can maybe hit a couple of things. The first thing to understand about Shaila of the Tochen and Ishtadlis is that Betochen, Muna and Betochen, the Chazanish says they're two different sides of the same coin. Uh, Amuna is the general, I have Amuna, and Betochen is the Lemaisa, is, 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 the, is the actual, of, 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 how to, how, of how, what to do with your Amuna. Ishtadlis is, is how much Betochen do I have, and how much Ishtadlis do I have to do in uh, natural, uh, natural in Yonam and natural means. Everybody knows that. That's the basics. What they, people don't realize, I was when I was a, a younger man, and I started getting interested in this, I kept on wondering, why isn't there a, a Mishnah Brewer on the Tochen? Like, there should be a, a Halacha Sefer. There's a Halacha Sefer. Today you have a Halacha Sefer on Basel Bechola, a Halacha Sefer on, on Tzitzis, a Halacha Sefer on this. Everything's Halacha Sefer. You have a Halacha Sefer on the Tochen. The more, the more I studied it, I realized it's impossible. Because... The token is chovas halavavos. It's chovas halavavos. It depends upon who you are. Simple as that. Therefore, I can't give you a manual. I can't give you an instruction book of how much we're talking to have, how much established uh, to do, because it depends on who you are. Now, I want to make a little. I want to try to make a little seder. In the things you've he you've heard, you've heard about the the, the, the Rambam sheet, the Ramban sheet, the Chavos Olavos sheet, and the Rambam sheet, and the Gros sheet, and everybody throws around things with the the, the no, Mishnah. No, no, no. What's 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 going on? So it's 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 Chavos Halavos. The second thing I'm just going to gloss over lightly. We'll find Shmulavitz on the back side of this page. Rukhain Shmulev brings from his Rebbe, Rebbe Wukum. So there are two ways of handling the token. If you look at many, I have this Sefer, it's a, a young man from, uh, from a terrace. It's from a terrace. So, 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 so they write a halacha Sefer deep with all the... So Chaim Shmulev says it's very good. And Tamil Chachum should go through it that way, with the, with the Sefer. But when you go through things with the seichel, it doesn't stick. You go, to, you hear, a rub is giving a, sh a shmooz, a, a sicha. So you go to the sicha, and you get all uplifted. Then the question is, how long does it last? 
goes one in, as they say, one in one year and out the other. When once you hit rea you know, reality, you go out of this year, it's sort of like dissipates. It's like a cloud. What does work is taking a moon of shuta. So on one hand, we have to work with the seichel and understanding with our seichel what is the talk and what is the kri v'shtadlis, what is the moon and what's what are all these things? What what was the Torah demand of us? And the second thing is the moon of pshuta. We believe in the rebbeinu shulelam, and we have to develop our moon in the rebbeinu shulelam, our tefila to daven to have a relationship with the rebbeinu shulelam. And, and and I say that most of our problems, the the the, the, the children who are the, the notion, the people who the, who, who are, are off the derech, o, OFD, you know, off or OTD, off the derech. So, so, so all, all, the, all the people and all the problems is because they never develop a relationship with the Rebbeinu Shalom. If you develop a relationship with the Rebbeinu Shalom, that's not for a seichel de kashir like I'm going to give, but in general in your life you have to develop a relationship with the Rebbeinu Shalom when he's here. And when you daven, you just remember that you say two very important words in your davening. One is atoh, you're speaking to him. Don't daven like you're talking to the wall. You know, they talk to the wall and they daven. They feel like they're talking to the wall. You're not talking to the wall. You're talking to the Rebbeinu Shalom. You have to feel he's here, he's atto, he's right in front of you. That's your, your, your job, and develop a relationship with him. And the second thing is to re recognize every time we say, Hello, Kenu. It's a powerful word. He's Elo Kenu. He's not Elo Keo Shemayim. He's not Elokei of, 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 of the Oritz. He's not Elokei of Ha'amim, of everything. No, he's Elokei Nu. We have a special relationship. We, Yidin, have a special relationship with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, which I'm going to explain in a minute. And therefore, he's Elokei Nu. He's ours. We're him. Ani Lidodi Vidodi Li. In this week's Parsha, Shlach. In this week's Parsha, we do Shlach. So there's... This is, I'm using this as a jumping board to understand what is, uh, it's in this one. The, the, the name, the talking to Ishtadlis, you know, this, this one. So it says on there, Shlach Lucha Anoshim. Shlach Lucha Anoshim, the Azura, so it's the Maraglim, the spies, right? As Kanana, Ashani, Noisin, Levne, Yisrael, Isha, Chavrishavel, Matarabosit, Shlach. Rashi says, Shlach Lucha. So he brings from the Medrash, it's uh, Tankuma. He brings from, yeah, Tankuma. He brings from the Medrash, Shlach Lecho. This is what you want. Ledaitcho. I'm not telling you to do this. What do you mean you're not telling me to do this? Shlach Lecho. So he's warning Moshe Rabbeinu, Shlach Lecho. This is on your, you're taking responsibility for this. This is on your das. Rashi. Yisrael came. I have here, here, if you want to just at the same time, I have the Mikras Kedalus. Mikras Kedalus in Devorim. It has a repeat of this. The repeat of this in, in, in uh, Parshish Devorim. Pasuk Chopet. The Tikravun Eli Tulchem. Everybody ganged up on Moshe Rabbeinu. That's what it says over there. Everybody, Tikravun Eli Tulchem. You look in Rashi. They all ganged up on him. They made a mob scene. It was a riot. The Torah Nishlocha Anoshim Lefanenu and Moshe Rabbeinu Chab. This is a very serious Indian. Something is going on here. This is not a normal gathering, or, you know, a, 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 a city hall meeting. This was a riot. Lefanenu Yachru Lanu Es Ha'Aris Yeshuvos and Redover Vederech Hashem Nalavo. How are we supposed to do this? Then he says, Vayitav Be'Enai. I like the idea. What do you mean? I like the idea. He saw that there's a problem here. What was the problem? And why is it Vayita Be'enai? And I like the idea. Vayita Be'enai Hadover. And then I took 12 Anoshim, and then we know the rest of the story. And they, the Miraglim. What happened? So, so, so there are two, two basic channels, schools of thought in Betochen that you've heard about. You've heard of, of, of the Ramban Shita, which is the Gro, the Gro Shita, which is pure, absolute betochen. That's the, the, the Shita of the Gro. And then the Shita of the Chavaz Halavavas. 
to the Chavaz is, 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 is we have to be in, involved in, in Olam Haza and have the talk in everything that we do. Those are the two basic shitas. The shita of the Chavaz Halavavis is echoed in the Rabbeinu Bechaya on this parsha. So back to, back to this sheet. So Rabbeinu Bechaya. Now Rabbeinu Bechaya, he explains what was the shlichus of the Meraglim. Very, very interesting. And he brings a Pasuk in Mishle, which I want, I want to concentrate on a little bit, because we're going to see how the, the Gra learns different shot in this Pasuk in Mishle. And he says, Sus Muchan Liyon Milchama. The horse is ready for the day of war. That was the, that was the uh, jeep in those days. What was the jeep? Or the, you know, the, maybe the, the tank was the chariot, you know, but the sus, sus muchan liyom muchama, that was the, 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 the vehicle of war, right? But la, la Hashem hai chua. Hashem brings the chua. What is chan in this pasik? So the Rebbein Machai says, Shlomo Melech Alova Sholom is Yazir Kol Adam. He's warning, not Yazir, he's informing, more than informing, he's instructing. Call Adam in this Pasik. Chiyasa call Dovashi Yaskarak Lasis. You have to do everything that's necessary, Al Pi Teva. That's Rabbeinu Bukhay Shita. This is the Chavas Halavavis, and we'll see in a second it's also the Rabbeinu Yonah. There's a whole school of thought, it's also the Chayr, it's also the Rambam. But, but the, I'm, I'm constantly, there are two schools of thought. One school of thought, Rabbeinu Bukhay, you have to do everything that's necessary. According to Teva, Derech Teva, Yimsa Hashem, whatever you can do, whatever is out of your 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 range of abilities, rely on the Rebbeinu Shlomo. I rely on the Rebbeinu Shlomo. Nes is only when it's not possible. Alpi Teva, Hanes Einu Chal El B'Chusar Teva, and he says, "What were we created for? Because Baruch put us into Olam Hazeh." Therefore, you have to do everything al teva that's required. You're in business. As, as, as Ezra Tauber, who's the Baldic of Mashpia, says, Jews, we were, born, we were blessed with a Yiddish cup. Whatever, we're, whatever there's possible to do, all the Nobel Prize winners were. 50%, I think, of the Nobel Prize was with Jewish. We have, a, not, not even religious people, just plain, regular people, chemists, physicists. They were, they were Jewish. Chilonim. But they were Jewish. They have a Yiddish cup. Kershbogu gave us a Yiddish cup. Use it! That's what the Rebbein Chabachai is saying. You're going into business, be the best businessman. You're going into medicine, be the best doctor. You're going into Geneva, be the best Ghana. Whatever you are. Be the best. That 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 they do very good. <laughs> <laughs> the Gemara says the best can help him with a yidden. The Gemara says the Gemara says that is the best can help him with a yidden. The kids said, "Use a Yiddish cup. I'll be teva." But we so 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 that's the that's the sheet of Rebbein Bechayim. That's the sheet of Rebbein Bechayim. And this is also the sheet of, of which sheet now? Uh, the other sheet. This, this. No. Not this. Not this. What is this? This one. Yeah. Now, on the back page, the back page of this one is Rebbein Yonah. Just, uh, you, you've heard these names, so I'm just... So, so it, it should click when you hear the names. Rabbeinu Yonah is the same thing. He talks about this Pasuk on page one, right above, in, in the end of Chaf Aleph, in Lamed Aleph. Sus Luch and Liyom Lachama, Lashem Aitrua. It's Nismach to what he said up above. Obir Inyan, the last two lines. The last two lines. Sus Luch and Liyom Lachama. Chayovim b'nei Adam lehishomer v'lenafshoi sam v'lehechin sus. When it comes to battle, you have to have an army. You have to be prepared. You have you have to do everything in your ability according to natural resources. Klizayin your armaments and your ammunition. 
uh, uh, be, be ready to do a Muhammad. Hashem Yisbarach will save you. No, you do yours, and the Kodesh Baruch Hu will do his. That's the Shita. Rabbeinu Yonah, Rabbeinu B'chayu, Chobos Olobos. Along comes the Gro, page before that, on the same passage. Lamed Aleph. Sus Muchan. Ki lahem, lahem Ikra Muhammad is the Sus. In their, day, their days, the Goyim, for the Goyim, maybe. The Iker Muhammad is the Sus. The Sus is Yutzlat Ma'od, the Fulaso, that's the best, the, the Jeep, tank, whatever vehicle, the Muhammad, the Omar, Sha'af Sha'a Sus Muhan, the Yom Ha Even though a Sus is the vehicle for winning the war, Sheker! Sheker a Sus the Chua, La Shem ha Chua, the Tehilo, Tehilo main chok with kisses. But he says sheker. This is over and over and over again in Mishlei. This is the shita of the go, of the gro, pure and absolute betochen, pure and absolute betochen. No involvement in means of Olam Hazen at all. And I'll give you an example of the gro himself. There's a Kabbalah from the mishpach of the gro. There's a Kabbalah from the Mishpach of the Gro that uh, when the Gro, towards the end of his life, he, 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 he was ill and uh, the family was nervous, so he never went to a doctor. Never! He never went to a doctor. He believed it. You do tshuva and the Kodesh Baruch Hu, that, the, 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 the Katoyim, our Averis, are what causes illness. So I'm not going to a doctor, I'm going to do tshuva. That was the sheet of the Gro. We don't pass like that. We pass like the Rajma. Rajma says we can't live like that. But so 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 he, so he he never had a doctor. So the family when the, 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 you know the, they had to go along with his wishes. But when 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 they saw it was getting very serious, so they panicked and they called a big professor from the you know from the hospital. I don't know Leipzig, whatever it was, and they called him in. They brought a big professor in, and when the gross saw the professor, he turned you know he was on a bed. He turned he faced the wall. So the doctor saw him. He says. El Rabina, my dear Rabbi, El Rabina, even the Pope in Rome <laughs> is soimuch on me, more than he's soimuch on Yoshke. So the Groa didn't turn around. He says, I'm also soimuch on you more than I'm soimuch on Yoshke. <laughs> <laughs> the kids said, that was the sheet of the Groa. Whatever you hear is going to be based on these two sheets. The shaila is, the, sh- the shaila is, what do we do with it? So, so, so there's a, there's a, ch- a, a tshuva, a, a letter from a Yisrael Salanter. He brings down the two sheets. Uh, I don't want, he brings down the two sheets. Sh- And he says, I'll do this first, I don't know. Okay. There's, there's a Gomorrah in Brachis. You, if you have a Gomorrah in Brachis on one of these pages here, did I give you a book, Gomorrah? Oh, no. Did I give you Gomorrah in Brachis? Hey, this is a bit hard, it's fine. Here it is, I'm sorry. It's a Gomorrah in Brachis. There's a famous Gomorrah in Brachis before I get into this. There's, there's also a draw. A different quote, but I'm going to do the Gemara Brook. This is more, more, uh, you so deep. More you so deep. So, uh, three lines up from the wide lines. There's wide lines in the middle. And it says, Tana Rabban. Three wide lines, li- in the narrow lines, three lines up from the wide lines. It says, Tana Rabban. It says, Vyasafta de Benech. This we say in Krishna. It says, Vyasafta de Benech. You have to go out and harvest. But it says, there's another possible. You're not supposed to stop learning. You're always supposed to be, supposed to be learning all the time. Is it possible? You're supposed to take this literally? We take this literally? Learn every second of the day? But it says, you have to go to work. That's how, that was the work. It was an agricultural society. 
So you have to go to work. Right? So there it says, Hanig Bahem Minig Derech Eretz. Together, Rashi, is it possible the Vorim Kiksovim, Shlo Yasik Derech Eretz at all? Rashi says, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to work at all. It says you are supposed to work, but it says you're supposed to be learning every minute of the day. Hanig Bahem Minig Divrei Torah Derech Eretz. Together with your Divrei Torah, you're supposed to have, then you, you have Derech Eretz. Call Torah Shainim on Malacha, start to betail the Gerer Salvin. That's the Shita of Divrei Rabbi Yishmael. So Rabbi Yishmael's Shita is, you have to have a source of Parnasa. You have to learn, all of you, to be Kaveh Yitl Matayra. You have to learn. But you have to have a Parnasa. That's Shita's Rabbi Yishmael. Along comes Rav Shimon Bar Yechoi, <laughs> Rav Shimon Bar Yechoi. <laughs> we know what happened to him after 12 years in the, in, in the cave. He came out and he started burning up the old you know, people, like, you know, what? Isaac and Elam Hazza. And the Kajbar said, get back to the cave, I didn't tell you to destroy my world. You know, Rav Shimon Bar Yechoi, the Machabra of, of, of the Zohar. So he says, Ev Shoadim Chorish, what, what, he says, one second, one second. If you plow, when you're supposed to plow, and you plant when you're supposed to plant. And you harvest when you're supposed to harvest. And you dosh, you do winnowing when you're supposed to do something. And then you zayra, winnowing, the ruach. When are you going to have time to learn? You're working the whole day. You got an eight hour, how, how a vibe you have an eight hour day. You know, the modern society has eaten up our eight hour day, you know. And, 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 and. Mate, Torah, Mate, what's going to be with Torah? If you're doing the rest of the Rebbeinu Shalaylam, the Goyim are going to take care of us. The Goyim are kind of going to come in and they're going to provide and take care of Klai Yisrael. Then you have to, you have to not only your work, you have to do the Goyim's work. You work double. It's going to be a Knas on us. That's, so, so we have Rabbi Shmoyal and Rabbi Shimon Bar Yechoi. How do we pass him? How do we pass him? So not too often does the Gemara give a Pesach Alocha. The Gemara gives a Pesach Alocha. Om Rabbayim. Har be'osu ka Rabbi Yishmoyal, ba'osu b'yodim. A lot of young alike, they did like Rabbi Yishmoyal and it worked. They were able to be kailu young alike and they had a parnasa and they were, you know, they were together. We also be up, it'll work. A lot of people tried like Shimon Bar Yechoi. Didn't work. They starved. It didn't work. They weren't on the Madrigan. Mashma from here, if you're not on the Madrigan for a Shimon Bar Yechoi, it's not going to work. So Rova said to the Rabbonin, Rova said to the Rabbonin, the Matusami I beg of you, I don't want to see you. This is a time for, for, for making the wine, and Tishrei making the wine, Rashi is making the wine, and, and, and the oil, and in, in Nisan is a time for harvesting the wheat. When it's time to work, you know, today's society is in, 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 in Tishrei is, a, is a Sreigim, and in uh, Nisan is Matzis, you know, so, so it's, 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 it's a Parnassi for, for the Avrechim. I don't want to see you. When it's time for Parnassi, I don't want to see you. So we see that we pass in like Rabbi Yishma. The kids are. So, so, so the Rabbeinu B'chai says, let's go back to, running out of time, I want to go back to Moshe Rabbeinu. Because we lived in a bubble. We lived in a bubble. The Ananiya Coven. It was a bubble. We had mun, we had water. The mun was totally nutritious, it was delicious. It was air conditioning in the Ananiya Coven. It was one of the, the, the we, we had a, a flying carpet, you know, a, 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 a moving sidewalk. It was wonderful. It was great. The clothes grew with them. They never had to do laundry. It was, it was, it was a utopia for 40 years. Because you to say, no, the utopia is going to be over. You're going to go into Eretz Yisrael and you're going to have to be involved in Olam Hasa. You have to, you're going to have to plow and, 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 and harvest, and, and you have to, you're not going to be able to have money anymore. You're going to have to make the bread. You're going to have to get involved in production. 
So, so, so you're going to be involved in Olam Haza. They panicked. They panicked. What? They panicked. They said, "What's going to be? What's going to be? That 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 that's we're going to we're going to lose our our, our, our Olam Haza. They, 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 we don't want to leave. We don't want to leave the desert. We don't want to go into Eretz Israel. They panicked, and they came to Moshe Rabbeinu in a panic. The Tikkun that's what it says in Devarim. They came to him and they, they panicked. They came to him with Tikkun Eli Kulchem. What's going to be? What was what was the Rebbeinu Shalom's kavana? The Rebbeinu Shalom's kavana in going to Eretz Israel, the Emes was oisin with Soyna Shalmakom, like Shimon Bayukhoi. His mantra is with Son of Shalmakom. Right now you're on a Madrega. You're Oysim with Son of Shalmakom. Go into Eretz Israel and continue the Oysim with Son of Shalmakom. And don't worry. You're going to harvest. It's just, the, the, it's going to, the wheat's going to grow by itself. The wheat's going to grow by itself. And you'll have the water. And, and you'll see that you have to do very, very little work. And if you have, 100% betachin and amuna, then you'll be zoichet to it. And Eretz Yisrael, which is a, a resemblance, a resemblance of the Anani Yaakov. And they came to Moshe Rabbeinu and says, they were in a panic. And Moshe Rabbeinu realized they're not holding by it. They're not holding by it. Now this is Machleik is now between the Rabbeinu Bechaya and the Gua. What was Moshe Rabbeinu's kavan? Kod Rebbeinu B'chaya. I can't, I can't read it, but, but Rebbeinu B'chaya says, Moshe Rebbeinu's Kavana. That's what you're supposed to do. That, that, that he realized. If they would have been on the Madrega, Avad of Rebbe Yishmael's Maskin. If you're on the Madrega, then you'll have the Madrega of Shem Bayechoy. But if you're not on the Madrega, you're on the Madrega of, of Rebbe Yishmael. And that's also the Kavana of the Rebbeinu Yishmael. Hanik Behem Nibit Derech Eretz. That's what the Rebbeinu Yishmael wants. He put us into an Olam HaTeva. So, so acted in Olam HaTeva. So Moshe Rabbeinu saw, okay. That's where the whole, that's where the whole. So now we're going to work with Olam HaTeva. We're going to work with Olam HaTeva. You're going to go in, you're going to do Miraglim. You really don't need Miraglim. If you're holding by Shem what do you need Miraglim for? Everybody should let them, you lead the way, we're going. You did miracles for us, wonderful. You're not holding them. You're not holding them. Okay, so now calm, calm down, calm down. You have Maraglam. So now we're gonna. What, what, what do you do when you have a uh, a normal battle? You, know, well, you, know, you, you, say, you send out the spies. You reconnoiter, reconnoiter. You see what's going on, what the derek, and how the people are. So we'll do it in a normal way. That's what Benu Bechayim. So Moshe Benu is the the Yita Beyenai because that's normal for a Rebbe Yishmoyel. But it's fraught with danger, of course. Because a person who's acting in Olam Ateva, he can get the kishif, he can get misled, like they did. What should they have said? They should have said, we'll go in Olam Ateva, and we'll do ours to conquer. And Rebani Shalom, he hasn't let us down until now. He's going to continue being behind us, and we'll be able to conquer. They went in, and they saw giants... <laughs> <laughs> and people were dying right and left. Even the giants are dying. It's an error. It's all chelus yashvela. Even the rebbei shalom can't do it. That's kafira. That's kafira. Even the rebbei shalom can't do it. He sent you in there. What do you think? He can't do it. No. He wants us to work in Olam Ateva according to natural natural means. We can't conquer the country. He wants to do natural means. It's too much for us. Even he can't do it in the, under those conditions. And because of that, we have the Chetam Arad. How does the grow work? I don't know. The Chetam Arad was they, they, in the beginning of the, of the desert. They were there a very long, short period of time. They weren't there for the 40 years already. They saw. They saw the they, they, they saw took, Yusuf Mitzrayim. Right. They saw Kriyas Yamsu. It took 40 years to dissolve it. To dissolve it. Well, it, 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 to get to Rabbi Rub- Shmuel, <laughs> so the correct response should have been, "We can't do it, but Hashem could do it." 
She's taking care of the stone. Now look what he did. He, we, they, they went to Kriya Samsu two years ago. Again, so the correct uh, the yeah. response and the yeah. response to all of us. Yes. Uh, but they thought they're going out of, they thought they, while they're in the bubble, yes, he could do a Kriya Samsu. Once he puts us into Ola Mateva, uh-uh, too much for him. It's like, it's like a Kodesh Brahma tied his hands, so, so to speak. So to speak, he tied his hands. He, he, can't, he, he can't do it. Even a Kodesh Brahma can't do it. Right? That, that, that was a terrible mistake. If you look in the Rashi, in, the Rashi, in, in, in uh, this, this one, this one has the Rashi and Shalat. Chayechem. That's what he says. This is what they wanted. They wanted to go like Rabbi Yishmael and Tidoy Lamateva. Ani, I, t- I told you it's a good land. I told you I'm sending you into the land. You, you don't believe me? Ani noisen lahem makam litois. I'm going to give you a makam you can make a mistake. You're looking at it through Teva? Okay, look at it through Teva. You're going to make a mistake. And they did. And that's our mistake. When you see the, 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 the contract fall through, and you see the project is collapsing, and things are just not going, and you see one problem after another, you're in Olam HaTeva, HaKadosh Baruch can't do it, it's a Mokom Litois, and it's not true. HaKadosh Baruch is called Yochoy, and he can do anything, and the obstacles in the way are the Olam HaTeva, and if he put us into the situation where I'm, if I'm doing what I have to do, it's on a Mokom, so HaKadosh Baruch is going to do his, he's going to take care of me, he's going to take care of me. And that's why I said you have to have a relationship with the Rebbeinu Shalom. The Gua is going to learn differently. He's going to learn like there's no Archaim. He's got there are a lot of other shatim in exactly what was going on. What was the Havmi and Moshe Rabbeinu? But the Archaim is a marvelous, marvelous shot. According to Gua, Chazal Baruch didn't want them to be Rabbi Yishmael. He wanted them to be Shimon Bar Yochai. And that was the, 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 that, that was the Ritzayin of that was the, that was the desire, that was the whole Kavana, that was the plan for them going to Eretz Yisrael and live in Oilam Haza on the level of Shimon Bar When Moshe Rabbeinu saw that, Vayite Be'yainai, it's not sure he liked the idea. He liked the idea is that he wanted to calm them down. Kindalach, Kindalach. You can do it. You took care of us until now. You've been leading us in death. Okay. You think you can do it. You think you're making a mistake. You think we're going into Olamateva. You think we're going into Olamateva. Go over there. Go see how big they are. Go see what kind of people they are. Go see what kind of fortresses they have. Go see what type of land it is. You can't do it. And once you realize that you can't do it, you have nowhere, ain't long only he shine out of Vinish Bashamayim. Like the Gemara and Saita says, what's going to be at the end of days? The if is the Mashiach, that when the Mashiach comes and it's getting close, the things, the problems are going to pile up on us, and we're going to say, it's impossible. It's impossible. The things that are happening now, it's impossible. I don't know what's going to happen in this new Mashbear economy. You know, there's, there's, there's everything that's happening now. And the war in Ukraine and, 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 and the United States and Israel, the, the government's collapsing. It's, it's impossible. Once you see it's a massive of impossible, so then, rely on the Rebbeinu Shalom. That's how the Grosso of Moshe Rabbeinu. And that's what he was hoping that they would come back and say, You're right, we can't do it. Why don't you show them you do it? And they blew it. <laughs> they blew it. It's too hard for even him. And that's happy courses. It's kafira. Nothing is too hard for you. So basically, these are the two shitas. These are the two shitas that you're going to be hearing. We have to stop some. When do I have to stop? All right, these are basically two sheets. I have a lot more to say on it, but we're going to stop here. Yeah. Yes, questions? <clears throat> According to the first shot, I understand the miraculous mistake, because even though Hashem did by the answer, but this is different. This is a different mitzvah. 
Right. We're going into a tether, so that's right. We haven't seen that before. Something new. We don't understand how that works. They made a mistake. But to the second shot, it's all. It's supposed to be a hemshech of what was happening. Even though they're going into yeah. Olam Ateva, they're supposed to go into Olam Ateva and make it Ganadi. Right, but that's not that. That's what was happening in, in the Midbar. No, they're in a bubble. There's no, there's no Olam Ateva. They're in a bubble. They're surrounded by uh, uh, Anania Kovid. They have food and water. They didn't have to work. They're, they're, they're sitting and learning the whole day. Ah, so it's an even higher level for Hashem to operate. Ganadi. He has to operate within the Olam He, he put them in a spaceship, it. you know, a big, a, a big spaceship, and you right. know, above the world. But once they go in, that's a, that means Hashem is going to have to step up his game. Yes. To create that world, even in the death. Of yes. Okay. My question is on goals, right? So maybe the goal's wrong. But I'm not saying like Hashem can't do anything. Hashem can do everything. I made my like I want to be an astronaut, spaceman, living on Saturn, right? You have to have realistic goals. So, okay, what is, what is that? What does yeah, realistic yeah. mean? So, so, talking just, I'm just talking about a moment of talking. Okay, you you have talk to about. look inside of yourself who you are. We're going to, yeah, I don't know, he wants to bring me back. If you're a Muslim, I should come back. Amuna, Amuna is, Amuna is, talking is, you do Hishtadlis. The purpose of a shtadlis, according to Rabbeinu Bechaya, is, is to calm you down. Because we're in all of my tablets, so I have to do the shtadlis, which calms me down. I did a shtadlis. I did something that could work. It could work. Now, from that step to step on, I stop, because I, I believe that Rabbeinu Shalom is going gonna, is, is gonna to finish it up and do the, the gemar. He's going to do the finale. That's the, pur- that's the purpose of the Rebbein Shalom. But my job, I have an obligation to do what I have to do. And then Rebbein Shalom, like they have a saying, I, don't, I can't stand it, but they, they have a saying in English, God helps those who help themselves. But you know, you've know, you heard that. There's something, it's, that's Rebbe Yishmael. If you ha- that's, that's the Rebbein Bechari. If you do yours, then Rebbein Shalom does his. Don't, but but it has to be re- realistic in whatever you're, you're you're doing for your situation. It's real, like this is this is unrealistic. Like when you were when you were a baby, this would be impossible, right? What you're, no, you're doing now, no, no, no. you're able to do live to like in New York. Wait, 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 wait. That's technology. That's tech- I'm talking that's, about the amount of effort. I'm talking about effort. I'm not talking about technology. It's the dream. It's the problem. It's not the dream. Like like. No, no, the dream of technology, to... like, I would also like to go to the moon. I mean, you know, right. That's not the issue. The issue is you have to make a parnas. You have to put bread on the table. And with the resources that you have, resources they had 500 years ago, we have different resources today. Then they only had, they had agricultural society, they had very rudimentary, there wasn't the Industrial Revolution. Today we have technology and everything like that. These are tools. But the, 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 the idea, the goal, is you have to put food on the table. You have to pay the bills. You have to pay the electric bill. Right? You gotta pay the makhobit. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta put the kids to school. You gotta buy clothing. You have to, you have, you have to have the wherewithal to do that. Now, how are you supposed to do it? So you look around what Teva gives you and what you are, you are good at, what your talents are. Don't get involved in a talent that you don't have. Don't try to be a movie actor when you, when, 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 when you, you have no charisma. You're not gonna be a movie actor. Don't try to be a, a you know, a, a, um, you know, Kids, don't go out. Don't go out of your realm. Everybody has their talents. Everybody has their their abilities, and their, their everybody has their their strengths, and everybody has their minuses. So the things you can do, and things that it's, it's not worth for you to even try. Don't try to be a chess master. You, know, you can't play chess. Whatever it is, <laughs> if you can play chess, <laughs> good. But whatever you can do, do. Whatever you can't do, stay away from. Stay away from. Doesn't mean giving up. Same. Wait, 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 wait. Real- Concentrate. Re- realistic. 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 Pick things. How many people? My, my, all my, my kids. Like everybody goes to college and they major in one thing, and then they go out to the real world, and all of a sudden they wind up doing something else. And they make money at it because what they're trained for in college many times is focus. 
Right? And when, when, but it gave a certain, I don't know, everything sort of builds up in the mind, but it, it builds your mind up. But, 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 but then you realize your real talents, and then Kodesh Baruch also directs you in the way that is good for you, and that, that's where you should be. My daughter says that she, she trained to be a graphic artist in, in school, and now she's, uh, she's doing graphic arts on, on Sheikh you know? So, <laughs> so, and she's good at it. She's not good in computers, she's good at it in Sheikh Look at it, that's the hard. Some people are good at teaching, some people are good at this, some people are good at that. You have every, also there's different minds. According to the grocery club, they went into Eretz Yisrael and they saw an impossible situation of Alpida Chateva in order to learn, the, to learn the lesson, continue relying on Hashem. According to the other sheet of Abayim Mechayim, why the Teva of Eretz Yisrael was impossible? It was supposed to be a regular Teva. Regular army, regular people, so and then go in, so the do regular army, and stand for Hashem. So Mephoshim said it was, it, was, it was all a smoke screen. In order to what? What lesson what? was supposed to learn from it? Look, be, be, look behind the scene, because Yiddish, Yiddish is supposed to realize that the Kodesh Prophet says it's a good land. Don't say it's an Eretz Ochel Shishvel. He was covering up that there was so a So going line. back to the goal. It's not a lesson for their yeah. Shita. Yeah. Even was, their Shita, even their Shita. Even a big liberal Rabbi Yishmael, Kodesh Baruch sometimes does smoke screens. So it was a less, a, also if it wasn't going to them, it was a less... But look, look how wonderful a land it is. A, 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 a grape the size of a watermelon. You know, I mean, it was fantastic. You know, the, 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 and look at the, the people grew, it was, it was good land. People were able to grow tall. Right? Yeah. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.